Good morning, everybody. On a little bit of a chilly Saturday morning, we're out here. Uh, Mitch is doing something over there weird. I don't know what. But uh, we're, we're coming out here. It's a little bit of an overcast day. So we're going to come out, work on the garden a little bit. I've got to... Here, let me turn you around. I have... Uh, what do I have here? I started some Brussels sprouts, and they're actually starting to... You probably can't see it. Probably can't see them. They're starting to grow. There's a little one growing in there. And then we have a Katerina cabbage. And I don't know. You, I don't know if you, Oops, oops. There you are. Can you see all the little, little things starting? Look at all those cabbages. It's going to be a good year for cabbage. And then I did a... Uh, a golden acre. Is that what that is? I think that's what it is. And again, take a peek in there. Oh, there you go. See all the little cabbages starting? I don't know where my little guy went. There he is. Oh, he's got a nice piece of bark. Nice piece of bark. All right, so let's, uh, we've had a bit of a snafu here. bit of a snafu. I don't know if you can see, but our pool cover is at the bottom of the pool covered with thousands of leaves. <laughs> You're going to enjoy that one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just going to have to get the, probably the easiest and best way is just get in you, like a per se, you know, just like a throw net. Just gotta grab one end, another, and just try to keep as many leaves in and get water out. And try not to have a heart attack when you get in. We'll wait till it gets warmer. Nah, we'll I'll wait till it... before I die of a heart attack. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so there's the pool. It's also leaning a little more than it did last year. And we can check out Mitch's polytunnels over here. I have put. Uh... Oh, and there goes the little guy. There he goes. He's got a stick. He's got a stick. A good stick too, isn't it, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in the polytunnel, I have started. These are my onions <laughs> that I started in the house. Obviously, I didn't have enough light. Um, oh, these are a bit dried out. I might need to get my squirt bottle. But because of those onions, I cheated yesterday. <laughs> we went to the nursery. Ooh, those are standing right up. Yeah, they are. Actually, some of these onions, yeah, they, they yeah, they look like they're coming back. Yeah, leave them to help. I'll leave them, yeah. So, I lost all the brandywine tomatoes in the house. So, I restarted some out here because the brandywines are my favorite. And those are Chadwick cherry tomatoes. And I don't think they're actually quite a cherry tomato. I think they're just like bigger than a cherry, but not a full-size tomato. And then these are purple bumblebee cherry tomatoes because, like everything else, I lost most everything in the house. So. Well, not necessarily to life, but we cracked the window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, am I on? Yeah, you're on now. There you go. Oh. Handsome as ever. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so we yeah. had the wood stove going, and there's one window that we kind of cracked it, balanced the stuff out. Well, not thinking. <laughs> Arctic window, blast yeah, on yeah, our it seedlings. Weird, it just, Whoops. The way that it comes through the window went right on those. Yeah, Arctic things. blast right yeah. on my nice new seedlings. And just killed them despite, <laughs> despite being yelled at. So. And Gerard has is loving the asparagus bed. Nothing going on in here yet. Nothing going on in here yet. So that's the only tunnel I have anything in. These others, um, there's nothing in those just yet, but there will be. Oops, <laughs> Chippy and a, yeah. and a dove landed right in front of me. And the girls are out today. Did you show them what Gerard and I found in the woods? No, not yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Mitch wants to show you his chaga. Yeah, he just he was in the woods and found this. Going to make some tea. Chaga mushroom. 
Well, I don't think it's a... Well, yeah, it I is. guess it is. It's, it's a fungus. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's very healthy. It's very good for you. Yeah. Even, even WebMD rates it. <laughs> but yeah, look it up. Look it up. C-H-A-G-A. C-H-A-G-A. <laughs> good stuff. All right, so this is where my dahlias are going to go. You can see we're a bit far behind on our bucket brigade. <laughs> <laughs> and these I have my sister-in-law's Cleones. I replanted them last year. And obviously it's far too early for the Cleones to be coming up. Far too early. Check out the garlic. I don't even remember what kind of garlic this is. I think it's the German German winter hardy, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. And look at my Egyptian walking onions. I sort of lost hope last year and didn't really know how this was going to do. But look at it. Coming right up. It's huge. This is going to be huge. And delicious. <laughs> so where am I going? I'm going to go over here. My newest purchase. Isn't that cute? And the arbor that I made. Yes, I did. And the David Austin roses, as you can see, they're they're turning green down at the at the stems, so that's good. These are my Hey, Jerry. Hey. Get out of there. Nope. No onions for you. Hey. No onions. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Get out. It's not funny. All right. As you can see, here is one of my... Where's my finger? One of my Trogon lilies coming up through. I'm really happy to see that. And I know that there are a couple more in here, but... That's the beginning of the whole entire bed. Gerard! He's about to find himself inside. Yeah, okay, and the other day I planted carrots. A red atomic... Red atomic onions. And also, on the other side, is just rows of Danvers something, basic <laughs> basic carrots. And then around the outside, around a perimeter, I just planted onion seeds in there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And nothing there. We've planted nothing here yet. And over there, that's where my patio area was last year. Remember that? With the, uh, the tarp over and the couch. I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that at some point this summer, I will have a lovely giant room-sized front porch with a cover on it. And that's where all of that patio furniture will go. Say something, let me turn my hearing aid up. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk. What, yeah. <laughs> I said, what a jerk. <laughs> and the peppermint. I feel kind of bad for the peppermints because they start to turn green and come back and then we get a little cold snap and they die back again. <laughs> yeah, good for it. So, and over here, this was where we had our potatoes last year and we knew we didn't plant them correctly, but... Mitch wouldn't listen to me, so. <laughs> but anyway, these are the peas. We've got one row in, and I was really surprised to see how good this dirt looked underneath it, the soil looked. I really don't want him up there. And I'm already, you can see that I've cleared the straw and the hay, whatever it is we used. I've cleared it away, and I'm getting ready to dig here today. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to plant. I found, hold on. Well, hello. Uh, I found at Baker Creek something 
I can't remember what it is. It's an Asian green, but it's a brassica. And it supposedly is a gourmet delicacy and it likes the cold. It likes the cold. Um, so I'm gonna plant that and see what that does in here. And the rest of it, not much has come up. The, the herbs have started to come up. The flowers are starting to wake up. I think that's about all I can tell you for today. You have anything to add? Just waiting for my boo-boo hand to heal so I can get to work. Waiting for the boo-boo hand. Yep, he was complaining this morning. There's so much he wants to get done, like bucket brigade. Oh. <laughs> yeah, raking, gardening. Gerard has found a tree trunk to dig under. <laughs> Gerard likes to garden too. We don't like him to go too far away from us since uh, the Fisher Cat incident. That's one of his old digging holes. Yeah, that's one of his digging holes. Oh, and he's eating them. <laughs> hey guys, so it's about a week later because, uh, whoops, sorry about that, because I, I forgot to edit my last garden tour. <laughs> So I'm just going to put that up. I'll just put that up and add this to it. Uh, so let's just take a little walk around here, shall we? I'm going to turn you guys around. So we got a new wheelbarrow yesterday. Um, you're going to notice that things are a little bit askew. Things are on the ground. We just had a crazy windstorm come through here. Really bizarre. It was really bizarre because my polytunnels, you see those? that actually have plants in them. The wind literally took the plastic off. You can see where Mitch went running after it on the ground. And he just put a log on it. He was chasing it. I mean, they were, it was like all the way up the hill. The plastic was, he was up there running around like a fool. It was really funny. But let's just go check. Let's see if there's any damage. Well, it's not looking very good, is it? It's not looking very good. It shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that. All right. Well, I don't see any damage inside, so I think we're probably good to go. And these we don't have anything in yet anyway, so. So we're good. And there's the asparagus bed. And it looks like we've had a chipmunk hole right there in the middle of the asparagus patch. Nothing to see yet. And the pool, I don't know if you can see, but that's the cover on the bottom of the pool. <laughs> that's all right, we'll be in it any day, any day. All right, now look, look at this. Look at these, look at this garlic. I probably could have planted them closer together, but I didn't. And then behind there, I've got some parsnips that I stuck in the ground behind there. And we'll see how those do. And I know one lady that's going to be jumping up and down when she sees these Egyptian walking onions because last year I didn't think they were going to do very well. But they sure did. So it's been about a week. And hopefully, you know, if I'm going to just stick this on the end of the other one and you can see the difference in a week. Let's see. The peppermint, nothing much there. The roses, you can see they're turning green. I have a bed of trogon lilies, and they're not doing anything yet, really. I have seen... That looks like a dog print. I wonder if that's Gerard. Anyway, again, we have carrots and onions in here. We um, replenish the soil. 
and put them in again. And <laughs> these chairs were <laughs> all the way up that hill and on the other side of the yard. And Mitch went running after them <laughs> and put them back. Now let's check the flower garden. I cannot wait to... Oh! Oh! Look at my little... It's a miniature lilac right here. Look at that thing going crazy. I should clean the leaves out. Actually, maybe I'll just have Mitch do it now that he has a hand. Has both of his hands. Oh! One of the peonies is coming up right there. One of the peonies, you can see... Let me step over here. Check this out. Can you see them? These might be my grandmother's peonies. I'm not sure. And there's my Veronica coming up. Yeah, Korean Spice. The deer really liked it this year. Let's see. What else? I've cut my lavender down. Oh, my daisies are coming up. The daisies are coming up. It looks like this is doing something. This is some sort of a cone flower that my sister-in-law brought. That is some kind of a columbine that Mitch got free at the post office. Oh, and then we have another peony coming up right there. This is, this is a hosta. It's not doing very well just yet. Oh, and here we are. We have some of the beautiful, these are like the brightest yellow daylilies. They're um, some sort of a Stelladoro. And that is my blue Veronica that is coming right up through the leaves. And I have a pink bee balm, and you can see that that's starting to grow. And in here, so that's coming back. And now, I've been digging, and what we have here, these are beets. No, these are onions. This is onion right here. This whole outer row are peas, you know, this whole, that one. These are all Lincoln peas. Oh, I have some beets. See them? I have some Ruby Queen beets. Oh, casualty of the windstorm. Oh dear. These are radishes. Look at this. I planted these Friday. These and the uh, choy sum down here. The radishes and the choy sum. I planted these on Friday and I kid you not, Sunday afternoon I started seeing a little green popping up and I couldn't believe it. But then I came out Monday morning, yesterday morning, and they were... It was obvious they were coming right up. <laughs> okay, so that's about it. There's uh we're starting. The work is starting. I'm starting to do digging and you guys cannot believe how good that feels. Cuz remember last year, I was down. I was down. I couldn't dig. I was on my way to hip surgery. I blew my hip. I couldn't even walk. I couldn't even walk. And the weight gain started, it, like, really bad. So that was hard. That was hard for me to have, to see that the weight was coming on and there was nothing I could do about it. But this year, this year's better. Mitch's hand is healing. We just got one of the rare eggs out of the coop, and Gerard got to have that. So, that's it. You guys have an awesome day. You have an awesome day, and I will talk to you next time.